So today we're going to be talking about Scuff Gaming. Uh, they have uh, released just not too long ago these Scuff Vantage controllers. Um, and we wanted to know a little bit more about Scuff Gaming and yourself, of course. So what motivated you to start Scuff Gaming? So about coming up to nine years ago now, um, in uh, early 2011, we started Scuff Gaming. But the idea of starting the company was that we felt normal video game controllers were slightly outdated compared to the, the video games that people were playing. Yeah. So there's 20 plus functions on a controller and we felt to use two thumbs and two fingers was kind of difficult to really yeah. get around the controller. <laughs> so that uh, sparked the, uh, obviously the, the, the paddles to, for us to invent the paddles. And that's about using more of your hands. So the previously redundant backside of the controller now has paddles which obviously allows you to use not just your two thumbs two fingers but also the underside of the controller and that was kind of the the, the start of it and then from there we kind of evolved different functionality nice well we actually have some here uh, did you want to show them the full sure, functionality yeah. of yeah. them this is the scuff vantage so we actually announced this back in may um, we showcased it at E3 in June mm -hmm. and then um, we uh, we actually started shipping it uh, for full launch um, just uh, just over a month, month and a half ago. So this guy here um, has got all the things you would expect from a scuff controller, the paddles on the back. So these mimic the face buttons. It's got the, the removable triggers. Mm -hmm. Trigger stops, turn around. It's got the adjustable hair triggers, a special key in the accessory pack there that mm -hmm. tunes the triggers in for tension. Um, it's got... Uh, so the new things on this controller that you wouldn't otherwise see are actually the removable faceplate. So this actually comes off. Nice. The magnetic faceplate, and then the removable rumble motors. So if you uh, if you don't use your rumble motors in games, then you, you want to reduce. Them yeah, take them out, <laughs> reduce the weight, and obviously you don't get distracted by the rumble function. Yeah. And so that's great for competitive gaming, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. I'd say probably 90 plus percent of our gamers, who you know, our pro gamers, um, take them out. Yeah. And. And when I say take them out, not take them out here, on previous generations, we'd take them out for them, oh, but wow. they were removed permanently. Okay. So with these, if you want to put them back in, you, you can slot them back oh, in. That's awesome. Um, so that's that. Thumbsticks come off. D-pad comes off. We've got different length thumbsticks. Um, but actually, probably two of the coolest new things about this controller is we've got two additional buttons here, which we call sax buttons. Mm -hmm. They are removable, so they just come off or, or go back on. But the beautiful thing about them is they allow you to not only use the paddles, but when you're playing um, Battle Royale type games, or even you know, if you look like Black o uh, Blackout mode, Call of Duty, uh, yeah. Call of Duty Black, Black Ops 4, then it allows you just to do an additional function. So as you think about all the new things that you've got to do in a game, mm. beyond the functions you previously yeah, had. Yeah, it's not just running and shooting anymore. It's not running and shooting, <laughs> it's building, running, shooting, picking up, up everything. Oh, yeah. So these, um, these additional functions help just use more of your hand and then you can control your mic um, uh, sorry your, your, oh, your yes. headset volume reading about up and that. down yeah. and mute it so that way you don't you have to go take your hand off your yeah, yeah exactly so that's really yeah that's that's the one uh, that's the that's our, our scuff vantage yeah so the scuff vantage we're actually going to be giving one away today so if anyone is watching and interested in a scuff vantage make sure you uh, stick around until the end of the interview and we're going to announce how you can get a scuff vantage um, so, are you a gamer yourself? And if you are, what kind of games do you like to play? Yeah, well, I'm like any other any other <laughs> boy. I guess started gaming when I was young, but I was I would never say I was a good gamer. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> I definitely I'm, I, every I'd get laughed out the building if my uh, some of my friends, especially in the yeah. community I live in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, I love I love video games like anyone else. I used to play all sorts of things from FIFA to uh, I remember Mazogs yeah. was one of the early nice. games I used to play, but that was way back oh. <laughs> but uh, and then um uh from there I, I used to play world of warcraft actually oh wow but um literally but, but more recently <laughs> the games i really like uh, I, I do like some of the shooters uh mm -hmm. i really like fortnite oh yeah great, great that's game. big right now played a lot of that this year oh yeah too much and uh, <laughs> but i do say to my uh, to my team back home that every day i'm gaming is a day there mm -hmm. <laughs> where i'm not doing the things i should be doing which oh. is Stuck at work. Trust me, so. I understand. So, yeah, that's, that's my life. <laughs> nice. Yeah. How about yourself? Oh, I actually, I'm a big Overwatch person. Overwatch, I, I play a lot of Overwatch. Um, I play a lot of indie games as well. Uh, I love Don't Starve. Um, I'm a big Clay fan. So if you 
you guys are familiar with Clay, the developer, then you probably know what kind of games I like. I really like those strat strategy type of games. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, so, how do you guys go about coming up with new ideas for accessories? Because you guys have a lot of different things, not just controllers, but like other things as well. Sure. Yeah, well, I mean, I think when we, so when we started, obviously, the, the inspiration was the paddles, mm -hmm. then hair triggers, trigger stops, different length thumbsticks, and yeah. then we've evolved it from there. But as we look at it, we try to think about what's happening with new evolution of the different studio games. Yeah. Um, what's going on in the future with just generally gaming. Um, and then how we can increase hand use, minimize latency in any of the trigger movement, but increase the sort of comfort of a controller. Yeah. So we believe that one size does not fit all. Mm -hmm. So the only way that we can actually ensure that, um, that the gamer can have the experience they want is to make sure that they can customize parts of that controller functionally, but also you know, from a cool perspective, of design course, as yeah. well. And that's, and that's so, important to a lot so of we got, and we, yeah, and we've got a, we've got a whole engineering team. Uh, about there's about twelve people in the engineering team, oh, wow. who uh, are always thinking about how we can do things better, mm -hmm. improve things, but also um, in our core group of innovation, we think about what has it, what's coming along, and how can we sort of innovate for the next two, three, five years. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I also saw that you guys have different kinds of controllers themed after different games. Do you want to talk about some of the new ones that you guys have come out with? Or yeah. even some of the cooler old ones? Sure. So um, in the last, uh, I guess, 12, 12 plus months, we've done a few cool uh, partnerships with some big studios. Um, we actually created a, a we call it the, the Scuff Forza uh, Elite oh, Controller, wow. which was a partnership with Porsche. Uh, so it was for the, the Forza game um, that had the 911 GT2 RS. On the front cover, so we work with Porsche, Forza, you know, Turn Ten Studios, um, and um, and what we created is we basically created a really cool controller that had real Alcantara leather handles. So it's the same Alcantara leather that you see on the roof of a, on the inside of a uh, of a of a Porsche 911. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it had a really nice design, and uh, had the Porsche logo here. So that was fun. Um, yeah. We actually just recently launched a controller called. Uh, the Black Ops 4 Vantage, and that was one we did with uh, Activision, obviously, oh, nice. uh, with, uh, with Treyarch. I think I saw that one, it's like black yeah. and orange. You got it, yeah. 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 And that, it's uh, actually pretty cool looking. That's, <laughs> right. that's obviously the faceplate yeah. um, side. So, so that was um, one that we've done, and then we, you know, we've, we've, been, we've got a few others in the works. But nice. Okay, so what would you say uh, is your biggest obstacle when creating these controllers? Um, biggest obstacle, well obviously test of time only really comes when you've got a product so mm -hmm. if there are any bugs or anything with it then you, you try to work them through yeah. your, your testing windows and everything but mm -hmm. every hardware manufacturer and every, every studio knows that you know, there's you always going to be exactly. You can't <laughs> catch everything. So, yeah. so the biggest challenge is that if there is any small problem, it's just making sure you react as quickly as possible, fix it, and then you know, and then move on. Yeah. Um, but other than that, just making sure that we we, we actually. So, for example, when we built the Vantage, mm -hmm. um, then we went through 38 different models of the back of the controller wow. just to make sure the ergonomics were perfect yeah. for as perfect as they could be for yeah, multiple hand sizes. Even for my hands, and I have uh, small hands, this feels perfect, it you know? Feels, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel like I'm reaching too far behind the controller, it doesn't feel too big, it, it's great. Yeah, and, and that, they're, they're some of the challenges that we have is because we'll, we'll purposely have, you know, 10 different people from the company with significantly different hand sizes. Yeah. And you get to sort of model 24 and you go, Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And then by number six, they go, eh, it's not quite right there for mm -hmm. me. So, <laughs> can you cater for all those different types is hard. And that's why we try to use other things in the controller, like length of thumbsticks, length of triggers, Absolutely. to really allow people to reach in different ways. But, but they're the biggest challenges, I think, making sure it's, yeah. so it's, it's, it fits, it fits you know, as everybody. many people as possible. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And, um, the holidays are coming up, we all know, and people are going to be looking for gift recommendations. So, there's two types of people uh, <laughs> I think we always see when it comes to the holidays, and it's the people who want to spend an exuberant amount of money on the best that they can get, 
and people who are a little bit more spendthrifty. Yep. What products would you recommend for each of those types of people? Okay, so <laughs> we usually do a little something around Black Friday, mm -hmm. Cyber okay. Monday, so that's something <laughs> which um, I think anyone who's followed Scuff for a long time knows that we, you know, we, we, we don't give huge discounts, but we certainly do something around that something time. Something special, so, yeah. Yeah, so we try and run some, some special offers then. Um, but the, the controllers start at 139, and they go all the way up to over $200. So yeah. depending on functionally what you want and design what you want, then it's, you know, there's, there's a range there that fits most people. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so these are controllers for people that really want the best controller experience that they can get. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Well, we try to break it down into, if you're playing two hours a day, mm -hmm. five days a week, that's 10 hours. And if you multiply that out by, you know, six months, then... You divide that then by the amount of money you spent. Then actually, each you day you're playing, you're, you're playing for 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 a pittance really. And if you think about going and buying Starbucks coffee or something, you know, that's you mean, true. You have yeah, fifty Starbucks coffees, and you could uh, you, got you can get a, scuff, a really you know. nice a really nice yeah. controller. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, let's jump into the giveaway. Um, so we're going to be giving away this silver uh, scuff vantage today. Um, in order to qualify for the giveaway, there are a few things that you're going to have to do. Um, so you want to subscribe to Digital Trends and Scuff Gaming on their YouTube channels. Uh, you also want to take a screenshot of your subscription and send it to uh, dtlive at digitaltrends.com. And the 10th emailer is going to win, basically. So make sure you do that. Um, and yeah, did you want to talk a little bit more about the scuff vantage before we give it back to Portland? No, I think, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if anyone wins this, they should be pretty happy because oh, it's, absolutely. A, it's a $200 controller. I, I wish I could enter into this contest. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it, I mean, it does come, just so people know, obviously it comes in the nice presentation box here, but it does come with a, with a series of accessories in here, so you've got spare thumbsticks, different lengths. You've got a control disc that replaces the normal cross-sectional D-pad. You've got a protection case here um, that has cable and, uh, and a little storage case for your, for your accessories. Um, so there's plenty in there to, uh, I guess, to make it fit anyone's, yeah. anyone's game style. And, uh, and I think, you know, it's a, it's a nice gift. It is a nice gift. It is. Yeah, we try to cooperate with you. All right, so I'm going to just uh, let you guys know how you can enter into win one more time, and that's to subscribe to Digital Trends and Scuff Gaming on their YouTube channels. S take a screenshot, send it to dtlive at digitaltrends.com, and the 10th emailer will win the controller. Number 10. Number 10. <laughs> number Lucky 10. number 10. All right, so we're going to be going back to Greg in Portland after this co short commercial break. And thank you, Duncan, for joining me here at DT in New York. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Likewise. <laughs>